All right, guys, today we are up at Stafford Motor Speedway in uh, Stafford Springs, Connecticut. This place is incredible. We just got here, did a little walk around, and uh, we're gonna show you guys a quick tour because this place is sick. It's like the Freedom Factory in a lot of ways, but it's nicer, <laughs> I'll say that for sure. And uh, tonight we're sold out. Crazy. So if you're coming here, you don't have a ticket, brother, turn around, watch on Freedom Plus because it's gonna be a packed house tonight. No tickets for sale. Look at their tower. It's beautiful. Very thing sweet. And they have a it's camera awesome. booth on top. Huge stand. Massive stands. And a couple of things I really like. An ice cream hut. Man. Smoothies. I mean, that's killer. They got a bar here, a wooden bar. And look at their office building. Whoa. Massive bathroom. This bar though, dude. It's classy. I mean this is just Freaking sweet. Race car rim tables. Yep. Yeah, this is nice, bikes. dude. So this one's really cool. Down there, you'll see they have boxes for the track. Yeah. So you rent those babies out. And I mean, just check out the view. Look at their freaking <gasps> board. You're done. Their screen. They have a massive screen. And it's just permanent. Obviously, as you see right now, you're done. Yeah. So we'll have our stream on that. Crystal clear. This place is incredible. Half mile. And uh, we're gonna go drive the track in a minute, try and figure out some of the uh, features of that, what the driving line is. They have Danley speakers, just like what we've got. So sick. Multiple. Holds a lot towers. of people. Multiple towers. That's really cool. Yeah, about double the capacity of the Freedom Factory here. Really? Yeah. Man, that's awesome. Unbelievable. That's they got awesome. Flower beds, I mean. With nice flowers in them. With nice flowers. <laughs> it's not like just weeds. <laughs> I mean, our place looks great. Well, we don't got no sunflowers. No. Or whatever those tulips, sausage, truck, fried donuts, chocolate covered bananas. I mean, I'm just in, I'm in awe. <laughs> and of course, the weather right now. The weather, phenomenal. Freaking 81 perfect. and sunny. That building is sweet. Yeah, it is. You know, they've, hey, when did you guys buy this place originally? Bought it in 1970. Yeah. So we're, we're on third generation. But didn't you guys buy the fairgrounds and like some? So it was built in 1870. Yeah, this, this is a fairground so in 1870. It's a horse track. So that was built in uh, 1912, that building. And a lot of the barn, a lot of like the, the pit concessions there was a yeah. uh, horse barn. Wow. So oh, yeah, it's old. Nice, nice, nice. 1870. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's go take a look at the cars. All right, burnout cars made it. Burnout cars over there looking good. Sam, obviously. Sam made it. We had to ship him in freight. Yeah. Sam, you yeah. good? We're good, baby. Looking good. All right. We're going to take some good. Kill him up, baby. Baby. Good show. Everything's looking just oh, great. J.H. Right made now. it. Oh, man. Switch to a diesel truck this time, huh? Because <laughs> the gas zone was just doing so bad. <laughs> yeah. The only time you ever got a win was in the gasser. And then uh, the Crown Vix. Yeah, I got to show you something on these Crown Vicks. I don't know if you heard about the new Aero mod. No. So on all the Crown Vicks now, we have a little scoop, a little air scoop down here to just jam oh. more air through the radiator. We're going to see how that'll work out. Uh, we've been having issues with these draft packs. Now that everyone's so good at racing, we're all in like a big pack for 90% of the race. Turns out it causes all the cars in the back of the pack to overheat. <laughs> yeah. So we're hoping uh, with that and several other cooling mods we've done, we'll have a better chance at keeping all the cars racing. I know right now demo Matt's not racing and I know Kevin Smith is having airport issues getting here. Oh yeah. So there's this big airport debacle today, but cars are all here and dialed in. Pit Mule made it. Let's go look at the uh, burnout pad real quick. Look here we at go. this track, brother. Oh, buddy. If you look at the line, it is uh, like where the black rubber is. It's yeah. not your typical racing line. So we're gonna have to sort that out. We need to go for some laps. Pre-race. <laughs> oh, if you guys are watching the race tonight online, 6 p.m. the live stream starts. And then 7.30 the race starts. All right, we got David here, owner and racer at Safford Speedway. So can you give us a little look at what the line needs to be I, for tonight? I could definitely do that for you. I'll give you a little inside scoop. We're going to need some help. Yeah. You don't want to... <laughs> You don't want to overdrive this place because it'll, it'll bite you. Really? Especially, I heard you have to take care of your tires, so they'll eat up the right front real fast. Oh, here. will it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it is what it is, brother. So generally, you want to be on the throttle until this light pole right here. Light pole right oh, here. I 
got gotcha. you. Okay. This is when you could pull off the throttle. Okay. And you want to aim for the apron, aim for the grass. Yeah, I saw people are like completely in the apron yep. right here. So you'll see there's a drop off because that's where cars actually like so roll want, their tire you off. You want us to hit your grass. I don't, I don't want you to hit my grass. <laughs> well, sometimes I hit my grass anyways. But yeah, so All then right. you, you actually roll up in the corner. I see that. To about a car length up like this because this corner is actually tighter. They're not the same both ends. This has more banking in this corner. <laughs> tighter radius. All right, so get to the middle there. And yep. then you roll up in the middle. And you make one long straightaway down the back stretch. You could use up the apron if you want, almost in the dirt here. Yeah, yeah. You could be up on this white line, painting the white line with your left side. Okay. And, then, and you're against the wall. And this, you make this a long straightaway. Do these cars have chips? Probably not, right? Uh, they're hard to get to. You might get to it. This is, you make this straightaway long, and you turn more RPMs down here, and you drive it down pit road. Is there a light pole down here? There's no light pole. You just lift until you feel like you're gonna fall out of the seat. You're saying just stay in it. Just stay in it. You're on throttle into the turn. And you crank it down and you aim for that flat asphalt. Okay. You don't even have to be up on the track and you'll drive down this pit road, cut the corner. This is the, the cheater way around the track. Okay. This so, is my group. So drive right here. Yep. Use this apron up. <laughs> We're not even on the track. No, no, you're, you're good. <laughs> then, then you use the guy on the outside as your brake. Oh, okay. And you get up on the white line. All right, so yeah, yeah. get up on the white line. Yep, so smooth around the corner. Paint the white line with your left sides. Smooth sail to the finish line. All right, so let's see what you picked up from that, Cleek. Right. Coming up on the light pole. Light pole. And then brake. You don't have to brake. No brake. You oh, just coasted you're it. Missing you're missing your turn. Oh, shit. Missed it. <laughs> Not the one you suck. I didn't mean it. 
All right, thanks for the tips. Right, this is the burnout pad over here. This will also be like pit lane for our crowd mix tonight. Okay, all right. Pretty sick. Massive burnout pad. Yeah, it Those is. Those two barriers won't be there tomorrow. This whole thing will be the burnout pad. Just a little extra little wishbone area yeah, in there, we'll okay. temporary bleachers out here to so all the fans and people to be down here right with us on the burnout pad. Awesome. We got the fireworks people here. We're dialed. The fireworks people, dude, they make it just that much know, better. What a show. Burning money, brother. Burning money. <laughs> Look at the uh, boxes, how sick that Dang. is. Dang. They got a brand new barn. This track is dialed, dude. I yeah. mean, no wonder it's so successful. They have it very dialed in. Like, the Freedom Factory it, and this track feels so similar. Like, you can just tell the crew here cares a lot about yeah. their track. Like, it feels like home. And I've only been here for a few hours. It really does feel like our home track. But I love this layout. Me layout. too. One thousand percent coming back next year. Unless we do something <laughs> to get kicked out today, hundred percent coming back. Can't wait. Love it. Dude. Yeah, these are really cool. Yeah, I kind of was curious how much something like that would cost. What the return on investment would look like to do those uh, like turn four at the Freedom Factory. I can tell you this: we would have to sell the Falcon. <laughs> That'd be a good start. That'd be a good start. Look at that TV. Oh, that's I know. so that cool. That wasn't cheap. No. That right now. <laughs> but you can tell these guys are like committed. This track's gonna be here for the next oh yeah hundred years. You know, like that's you just get that feeling right when you walk in. It's not like they're just keeping it running. Like they're improving it. It is freaking sick. It is. All right. Well, I guess until tonight. Tune in, guys. This is just a little video for the second channel. Tune in on Freedom Plus to see some action. And uh, remember, too, if you buy a Freedom Plus subscription to watch this race, that also counts for the TRX giveaway. So, a little bonus for you. All right? We'll freaking see you later.